What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is my one month review of the Predator Elite in this Pred Strike colorway. I've had a really nice time with these football boots and I want to share with you guys my ratings of why I think these are going to be one of the best football boots of 2024. They are absolutely fantastic to play in and I'm really, really stoked to share my thoughts with you. Uh, for context, I've been able to play on FG, AG, wet weather, dry weather conditions down here in Australia, as well as a few other um, proper training sessions, individual sessions, all that stuff. So you guys will get a really good sense of kind of what they're like to actually perform in, in team environments as well and as an individual. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the sole plate, which is the control frame. Now, control frame is very, very similar to the torsion frame that we have on the Copa Pure lines literally identical except for these studs are going to be more triangular and star shaped as opposed to the copa pure which are half moon shaped studs same layout basically the same length as well and so from a functionality perspective they really don't differ that much at all and so whether you're on ag pitches or fg pitches i think you're probably going to have less less uh how do we say less structural and uh, stability concerns with the torsion frame from the pure line. That being said, these are gonna provide just that little bit of extra bite on FG surfaces in particular. And then I think they pro uh, provide a really nice amount of grip on AG surfaces like the one that I'm standing on now. So for me, control frame gets an eight out of 10. Heel area for the Predator is really nice. I would say it's a step above a lot of the other heel areas in their lineup, specifically between the Copa line and the Crazy Fast line. I think this just does a much better job of wrapping your heel area in a way that feels a lot more natural and locked in as far as playing, and especially when it comes to kind of the lockdown scores and some of that, it really does a nice job. That being said, for me and the way that my foot shape is, it does slip a little bit in this football boot simply because the heel area is just that little bit too large for what I'm looking for from a heel area perspective. So that does affect the lockdown score and it does affect kind of the shape and the fit of the football boot as well. Um, but overall, really not many issues as far as slippage goes. Like I never got blisters from them. I never got any hot spots from the heel area. I just had in certain really uh, aggressive movements, I had a little bit of slippage so that does affect the score a little bit so it's going to get an 8 out of 10 as well. The upper for the Predator is by far I think it's shining feature. The Hybrid Touch 2.0 upper with the strike skin elements here in the medial part of the midfoot and the forefoot are truly fantastic. It is one of, if not the best uppers on the market from a synthetic perspective. Um, I would say you know, knit aside, leather aside, if we're just talking synthetics, these are my favorite material on the market for a lot of reasons. One of those is because it really does feel almost like a rubber band. I talked about this in my play test video, but when you get these boots on, yes, there's a little bit of break in time, but the boots feel like they stretch to your foot and then sort of continue with that elasticity and that really nice wrapped sensation and feeling like it's sort of gently squeezing and hugging your foot as you wear them, which is a huge feature uh, for somebody who's looking for that type of experience playing with a synthetic football boot. The strike skin elements are fantastic. They give you definitely an elevated grip over everything else on the market, bar maybe GX2, which is uh, less grip sensation, but definitely uh, you obviously get more grip around it so it's just depending on what you want but if you want like the most amount of grip when you're shooting crossing the ball the predator is the boot to go for as long as it fits your foot so for me upper fantastic job after it's get it gets broken in it's super super comfortable performs really well touch on the ball is excellent you get a really nice consistent touch across the entirety of the upper even in that elements where you've got those strike skin there and uh, for me this is an 8.5 out of 10 upper Lockdown for the Predator is just a little above average. I would say the lockdown on this model in particular is obviously much better than the laceless model. And I think it's definitely better than the fold over tongue model, just because the fold over tongue model has a little bit, you get a little bit less lockdown in the heel area because of how far forward that tongue folds. So with 
this particular model of the Predator, I do think that this provides a good amount of lockdown. Again, for most people, you're gonna be like, this is awesome, great lockdown, no slippage, no issues, it's perfect. For me and my foot shape, once I break it in and I really start to uh, break in the width area here in the lateral side of the boot, what it does is it kind of causes the ankle area and the heel area to open up a little bit too much for the thinness of my heel type. I know it's kind of a, it's, it's my own issue because my feet are very awkwardly shaped. And so it does provide, there, there is a little bit of slippage in the heel area, which then causes the lockdown to be not as good. That being said, is it better than the Copas? Yes. Is it better than the Crazy Fasts? Probably not. So if you want like the most locked in sensation from an Adidas football boot, go with the Crazy Fast Plus. Uh, but for me, this is like the perfect kind of in between, uh, between having way too much lockdown or you know feeling like you're you've got nowhere to go inside the boot versus a really kind of sloppy sensation which in some ways uh, especially the copa pure 2 plus provides so for me eight out of ten for the lockdown break in time was a little bit lackluster for me i found it to be pretty challenging especially in this width area where you have the extra material of the stripes uh, here on the lateral side especially down here where I've got that bone jutting out. Break-in time was just a little bit too difficult for me to give this anything more than a five out of 10, unfortunately. Um, for most people, I think you're gonna be just fine. I would go true to size as far as, you know, break-in time goes and shape and fit goes. Uh, but for me, toe box area, totally fine, no issues. Heel area, no issues. It was just that midfoot that if you do have a wider midfoot, just be careful and just be aware that you are going to have probably a lot higher time frame for breaking this football boot in. For me, it took about six to eight hours of proper play time taking them on, taking uh, you know, take them off, putting them back on. You guys saw the play test. I took them off a couple times in that as well. Um, and so for me, this is going to get a five out of 10 for break in time. Durability and build quality has been pretty good, I would say. I would say they're about average. Uh, I've got a little bit of sole separation from the upper when shooting, as well as some really significant concerns in a lot of different boot circles that I run in on social media. Some, you know, whether it's group chats or people DMing me photos of their boots, a lot of people have complained about sole plates cracking, and that is a big issue. Yes. The majority of people are not gonna have any issues. I haven't had any issues with sole plate cracking or anything, but that does factor into my response and my rating a little bit, simply because it is one of those football boots that I think has so much going for it, but when the durability and build quality isn't top notch, it sort of takes away from the experience a little bit. Um, that being said, I think it's fine. Again, I haven't had any issues other than a little bit of separation here and there, which by the way, doesn't affect performance at all. And so for me, I'm not concerned about it at all, but I will take the rating down a little bit just because of how many messages I've been getting about, oh my God, my sole plate cracked. Can I get Adidas to do the warranty thing and returns and all that BS. So for me, durability and mail quality, unfortunately are going to get a seven out of 10. Shape and fit for the Predator Elite is really good, I think. I think for the most part, most people are gonna fit in this just fine. I don't find the shape to be, you know, kind of awkward in any particular way. Yes, of course, my feet are a little bit awkwardly shaped, but that's my feet and that's not like the majority of people. I think as if you look at the bell curve of, you know, foot shapes, most people are gonna fit in these really, really well and they're gonna find these to be super comfortable. And so I think for me, these are gonna get a pretty, like slightly above average rating for shape and fit for my foot, but do keep in mind, these probably will fit most people. And the hybrid touch upper will stretch a little bit to a lot of different kind of nooks and crannies of most people's feet. So for me, shape and fit for these is gonna be a 7.5 out of 10. All right, competition, in my opinion, for the Predator Elite Pred Strike is probably one of the most competitive segments in the entire boot market right now. You've got Puma, Future 7 Ultimate FTR, you've got Takela V4, and you've got GX2. Those are kind of like the main ones. Uh, I would consider this to be part of either like a power boot or control, power slash control boot, which Takela, GX2, and Puma all kind of fall underneath. That's where this gets really hard because I think as an objective, just like objectively what this boot brings to the market, this is probably the most unique other than GX2 maybe. What am I gonna wear though? I would probably wear these. I'd probably wear GX2 first just because that's what I like. Then these, 
mm, or to Kayla. See, that's what I mean is like this, they're so, and I, the, the, the issue is that other than Puma Future, which I think is at the bottom of the list regardless, because I don't think that boot's very special anymore. Um, they've just done the same thing over and over again for like three generations now. Um, so I'm going to kind of take that out of the list. So top three, uh, oh, man, that's such a hard one. I think I'm going to pick GX most of the time just because it fits my foot basically perfectly out of the box. So I can't really argue with that from a comfort perspective. And yes, by the way, I'm getting the AG model. These and the Tequila though, like they all provide something a little bit different and a little bit unique. Tequila's got the sole plate. These have the upper and the grip elements and just like such a fun, unique, like old school power boot mixed with new school tech and like, oh, See, that's what I mean. I, I don't even know where I would stack these up. Like if I had a gun to my head, like what would I, what would I pick? I have no idea. And I've thought about this for quite a while and yet I'm second guessing myself because I don't know. I think GX, again, GX is number one, but then between this and the Tequila, I'm not sure. Needless to say, that's a great thing because it means that all three of those boots, in my opinion, are fantastic and i don't think you're gonna get better you know other than like maybe a made in japan mizuno model or an a6 model you're really not gonna find better stuff than this and you know gx2 and and uh tequila as well so for me that's kind of where it stacks up it's it's near the top of the football boot you know world at this point right now like overall i think the pred stand is easily top five football boots like period in the world right now so that's a good sign performance is awesome for the predator elite Pred strike. Now, part of that comes down to the strike skin elements. Part of that comes down to the upper. The sole plate is good enough for sure. It's it's definitely well above average. I think it does a really nice job. It provides what it needs to for a Predator line. But overall, man, this upper, everything above the sole plate is excellent. It's really, really excellent. And aside from maybe the fold over tongue model from, you know, like a plush touch perspective or a little bit of extra ping or whatever, you're really not going to notice that much of a difference between the two models. And so for me, this is top, top notch as far as performance goes, even with some of the issues that I have with lockdown, I still found that this boot performed excellently well in high level training sessions and in my own individual sessions and so for me these are going to get an 8.5 out of 10 for performance overall the predator elite pred strike laced model is fantastic i think it is one of adidas best boots in the last 10 years honestly it is so good it is so grippy in the places that you want it to be it's got such a nice touch on ball it's very very consistent it's got great underfoot feel um, very good sole plate action and really i've got very tiny little nitpicky things to say about it other than it being absolutely excellent and so for me it's going to get a really good rating of 8 out of 10 i think these are one of the best boots on the market bar none even if the ratings may be a little bit lower in some areas than other boots on the market i'm still picking these because of the way that they make me feel on feet the way they look i love this colorway i think it's very vibrant and very eclectic and very fun it's definitely a cool launch colorway and for me these are going to be a smash smash hit uh, for most people and there's a reason why in a lot of places these are sold out every single time a new colorway drops so that's going to wrap up my one month review of the predator elite pred strike in firm ground i think these are fantastic you should definitely go try on a pair or get a pair for yourself um, if you guys are interested in my favorite grip socks as well which i use in these during the course of this video you can find a 20 percent discount code to the we foot grip socks down below uh, in the description box hit that like button if you got value from this video let me know in the comments section below which boots of this generation do you like the laceless ones do you like these ones? Do you like the fold over tongue? Which ones are you going to use in your training sessions and games? Subscribe to the channel. Join the fam. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.